Hi everyone. Uh, in yesterday's video, I spoke about how I got into photography. So if you haven't watched that, then check that out to learn about how I got into photography. But as promised, uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about why I made the switch from my initial interest, which was motorsport photography, to doing what I do now, which is travel and street photography. So um, at the time, of me getting into photography I was also very passionate about motorsport um, so it suddenly clicked with me that putting these two passions together motorsport and photography made perfect sense and was like the perfect career for me so that is initially what I, what I concentrated on and it was actually a big reason why I moved from my hometown of Carlisle uh, down to London. When I lived back home there was no race circuits nearby uh, so uh, living in London there's Brant Hatch which is pretty nearby so when I moved to London it enabled me to visit Brant Hatch um, pretty much every weekend. I think I did get quite good at it, um, I really enjoyed doing it. Um, my whole intention with motorsport photography was if if you look at most people's, most people just, oh there's a car going around the track, click 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 click, um, they use very fast shutter speeds just to ensure that they get the car in focus but yeah, there's not a lot of I don't feel like there's much thought process going to it. It's literally just, oh look, there is a car on the track. Great. Um, there's nothing artistic about it at all. Um, anyone can take the photo, very dull, boring. Um, and for me, the reason why I enjoy motorsport is the, the speed and the reel-to-reel -reel action, that excitement and intensity um, the noise, um, all, all of that. So I wanted to convey that excitement in my photos. So I tried to create photos that were different to what most people were, were taking and you know photos that captured that excitement. Um, and yeah I, I, I think I was quite good at doing that. So yeah I was enjoying doing it. I was happy with the photos I was getting for the most part. I happened to think I was better than kind of most people who were doing it. Certainly thought I was good enough to to like get into the industry. Um, and when I moved down to London I was visiting Brands Hatch every, every weekend just to practice. Um, but that kind of is where the, the problem came about. Um, so I, I don't, although I do drive, I don't have a car in London because it's London's expensive enough without um, paying for a car as well. So it was quite a long journey for me every weekend to get to Brands Hatch. I was having to get a couple of tubes uh, into central London to then get a train to the nearest town to Brands Hatch which was which is a little place called Ainsford I believe it's called uh, so that was I can't remember how long that train ride took certainly half an hour at least I think it was more like 45 minutes uh, and then from there that was still three and a half miles away from the circuit and as it was a Sunday, there was generally no buses running, so I had to walk the uh, the rest of the distance carrying my DSLR at the time. Um, so that would take me about an hour, walking at quite a hefty pace. So it was a bit of a trek to get to every every weekend. Now the race circuit itself, there's there's two tracks that they use essentially. There's the the full track, what they call the, the GP circuit. That's the, the entire track. 
and they have a smaller one which only incorporates a small part of that track uh, it's just over a mile long and nine times out of ten they would only use the small circuit and that was because there's residential properties around the around the larger track so uh, because of noise and everything they were only allowed to use the full track I think it's something like four times per year um, so they generally for the most part use the small track which as I say was only just over a mile long so I was making this long trek every weekend and it was such a small track it kind of got pretty boring pretty quickly I was going and like standing in the same spot every every weekend kind of getting similar photos every weekend um, it was really I wanted to get different photos every time I, I went but that was getting so difficult and I love the, the, the challenge that photography brings but um, it was kind of impossible to go week after week after week after week standing in the same spot and trying to get different photos from the week before the week before um, and motorsport is so restrictive in terms of where you can stand uh, obviously there's fences barriers everywhere uh, for safety which is fair enough and that was also why there was only like a couple of good spots to to stand at to get a good viewing point um so yeah it got very repetitive very restrictive um uh, at the same time i was starting to get more into into street photography and the thing for me what I enjoy about photography is the challenge of trying to capture an interesting and attractive photo from things that you can't control and I guess that's one of the things that attracted me to most about photography like I have you have no control over the action that's happening in front of you so to anticipate what's happening and to try and create an attractive photo from things you can't control that is something that challenge is something i really enjoy um but again i noticed with street photography you can't control um what happens in the world in front of you where people are going about their daily lives you have no control over what happens in the world so again you've got that same challenge of trying to create an interesting photo from things that you can't control just purely having your own skills um, with the camera is all that you control so again I got more and more interested in that um, however what I was realizing is that motorsport is very very restrictive and it was also for me at the time very very repetitive whereas street photography I could go anywhere I wanted um, I was totally free to go where I want do what I want um, but it's never ever repetitive because every time you go out there's the light is different, there's different people, um, there's different scenery, uh, no two days are the same. So it was a gradual thing of getting bored of motorsport photography and getting more and more and more into street photography because there was no restrictions, and no repetitiveness. So yeah, another advantage to moving down to London is I had the opportunity to travel so much more because I had access to all these airports and access to the some really really cheap flights that you that are available um, living in London. So the opportunity to travel became far greater. So I quickly 
got the travel bug and um, obviously enjoyed taking photos of all these places I was traveling to and yes yeah, so basically kind of fell out of love with motorsport and its repetitiveness and its how restricted it was and just totally fell in love with travel and street and the freedom that I had with that and it, it just never gets boring this it never gets repetitive like I say so that's that's it that's why I'm now in love with street and travel and motorsport I guess it's kind of a distant memory for me now um, I'm still a fan of motorsport in general and it, even if I look at back at my photos now I, I do still think they are good photos but I just don't enjoy it in the same way and it's not what I want to be doing anymore so that's my story that's why I made the switch um, if you have any questions on any of that comment below and I can answer them so thanks for watching and in future videos I want to talk about where I want to get to with my career, the kind of photos I want to be taking, um, the kind of clients I want to be working for, um, projects I want to be doing, things like that. Also I'm going to Santorini soon for a week uh, for a friend's wedding so that will be pretty cool, I'll be taking lots of photographs there as well and yeah lots of things coming up so keep watching and if you haven't already then subscribe, that would be cool. And see you next time. Bye.